I'll tell you a little bit about myself. According to my neighbor's journal, I have a lot of boundary issues I need to work on. Growing up, I had a very overprotective mother. I was only allowed to play rock, paper. Started trying to work out. Went for a three mile run this morning. It was going to be five, uh, but she caught me and I had to give her back her purse. <laughs> Actually, I started, uh, <laughs> honestly, the closest I'm ever going to get to exercising is when I bend over to pick up that Oreo I drop underneath my couch. <laughs> it takes 45 minutes, though, so I'm going to count it. <laughs> Broken promises never upset me. I always just wonder why they believed me in the first place. That went well. I'll tell you before I really get going, I'm a liar. Everything and everything I say is a lie. I am a compulsive liar. Uh, so much so that when I die, my tombstone's gonna say, here lies Josh Watts, as usual. <laughs> I recently went to my psychiatrist and she told me, uh, she diagnosed me as being a compulsive liar. Uh, I got upset so she gave me this incredible blowjob, it was awesome. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, I had to babysit my niece the other day, and it really taught me why some species eat their young. I probably should have said nephew for that, because I got... Everybody said, wait, what did you mean by that? <laughs> I don't think a conversation can ever go worse than when someone can't tell if you said black eye or black guy. My friend told me the other day, man, my wife came home with the biggest black eye. His name was Tyrone, he was very lovely. He stole some silverware. Yeah. <laughs> and there he is. <laughs>